16.2b quadratic formula using the formula. If we have ax squared plus bx plus c equal to 0, then x equals negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4 times our a times our c all over 2 times our a. Now let's put this formula to work. In example 1, we have a quadratic here. We want to identify our a, b, and c first. We want, need to make sure that they are in descending order. So our 6 will be our a, 7 will be b, and our negative 3 will be our c. So we put it into our formula. We have x equal to our negative b plus or minus square root of 7 squared minus 4 times our a times our c all over 2 times our a. Now we're going to throw this in the calculator and we'll get negative 7 plus or minus the square root of 121 all over 12. I can simplify the square root of 121, so we're going to get negative 7 plus or minus 11 all over 12. And we have negative 7 minus 11 will give us a negative 18 over 12. And negative 7 plus 11 will give us 4 over 12. So that means x equals negative 3 halves and one-third. Let's take a look at example B. We have a 5 for our A, we have a negative 1 for our B, and 2 for our C. So X will equal opposite of our B plus or minus the square root of B squared minus 4 times our a times our c all over 2 times our a. We throw that in the calculator, we're going to get 1 plus or minus the square root of negative 39 all over 10. So now we have x equal to 1, we can simplify the square root of negative 39 by taking out the i. So plus or minus i square root of 39 all over 10. It's as simplified as far, as far as we can go, and so we're done.